Welcome to Exo Magic Trick number 461. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Exo Magic Trick 458 to 465. In this trick here, we want to see how to create a thermometer chart. If we uh, move this here, you can see the thermometer is filling up. I got this trick actually from Excel Hacks. That is a great book filled with advanced tips. All right, let's see how to create this. I have max and temp. Could be like uh, projected sales and sales, for instance, or something like that. I'm going to highlight this, go to Insert Column Clustered. And then I'm going to go up to Design, and I'm going to switch row and column. This is in step two of the chart wizard in earlier versions. I'm going to get rid of some of this junk. I don't need that there. I don't need this uh, label right here, and I don't need this legend. Now I'm going to click on the uh, whoops, Control Z. Ooh, I'm glad there's Control Z. I'm going to click on the temp. Uh, column here, and I'm going to use Control-1 to format it. The first thing I want to do is create it, put it on a secondary axis, and you can see that pops up right there. And I want to say overlapped uh, 100%, and then I want to move this uh, gap, just, I want to make this just a little bit smaller, so whatever, could be 176 or something like that, and then click Close. Now we have our uh, two different axes here. I'm going to go ahead and just delete this one right here. Ah, look at that. Now it's all based on this. And sure enough, we can see the comparison between the two. I want to change this. Con I'm going to click on the axis and Control-1. Uh, let's make uh, the max equal to 100. Um, we'll change this. This is the uh, major unit to 10 and the minor unit to 2. That'll relate to big change and small change uh, when we add our uh, scroll bar. Now let's go ahead and click on this uh, max control one, and I want to add fill, no fill, and border color a solid line. All right, so now we have this little chart. If we squeeze this in right here, bloop, you can see it kind of looks like that. That was that cursor. If I'm going to move the chart, I want that cursor. And now let's add a uh, scroll bar. If you don't have the developer ribbon, you got to go to the orb uh, and Excel options down here. It's Alt F I, Alt F I, and there it is. Right under popular, it's show developer ribbon uh, tab in uh, ribbon. All right, and so then you can go up to developer and we'll go to insert and I'm going to select a form control that scroll bar. Click and drag. I'm going to control 1. Now it doesn't say uh big change and small change, but uh there it is the 10. I'll make this a 2. Uh this will be the little arrow and that's the amount of change when we click in there. And um, those are fine, minimum, maximum, and we want to link this cell. <coughs> click OK. Now, it won't work until I click out here. Now, we can just fill this little thing up. Move it here, boop, 10 at a time, down. OK, so there's a little temperature chart. I'm not sure what, um, what people use it for. If you have a great use, then go ahead and leave a comment. I'd like to to hear what how people use this. All right, we'll see you next trick.